Okay, and this is my recap or review of Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars Season 3, Episode 2, Ring of Fire. We open up finding out that Clive is partially deaf, which, um, it doesn't, I mean, okay, it's kind of funny. Like, Tanisha's so loud and he's partially deaf. Like, that's kind of like a funny, like, pairing. Like, you go, oh, now I get it. But I guess it actually does play a lot into their relationship. So we, we kind of get more into that later on. So this is pretty typical. If you've watched the previous two seasons, you know that this is kind of the episode where they talk about identifying problems. Pretty standard. Of course, because they're reality stars, they're really pushing this reality angle. So they have all these headlines. And the headlines represent different, different problems in fidelity, trust, money, things like that. So each of the couples have to go out and kind of pick them up. Now, Tristan and, Tristan and Ryan are really kind of boring at this point. So I'm like watching them like interact. And I was like, these people can't be for real. They're like a caricature of a boring couple. Uh, I, my impression is that Ryan is less eager to be there. He made a comment about, you know, he's working and he kind of did this for her and all that. So I don't know, maybe they don't have as severe problems or maybe he's just more reluctant to be there. I don't really know. Now, what was... Okay, so I gotta... If you're a big fan of Slade and Gretchen, you're probably not gonna like my recaps because they are so working my last nerve. More, more than Tanisha and Clive's constant fighting. You know, Tanisha and Clive are fighting and somehow Gretchen keeps making it about her. Like, I have anxiety issues. I don't like being around that. But, like... Like, just deal with it. Like, leave the room. You're not in charge of this experience. So, I don't need to hear about how upset Gretchen is about Tanisha and, and Clive fighting. Anyway, Slade and Gretchen do an impression of Wow and Roger. And it's like the worst, least funny impression I've ever seen. So, like, we're watching Wow and uh, Roger kind of do their thing and it's pretty normal they're like yeah we got a problem with that we got a problem with this and then we see Slade and Gretchen doing an impression that looks nothing like them at all and I'm like didn't Slade at some point like actually go and be a stand-up comedian like <laughs> he's really bad at this like he's really not that funny so which actually kind of makes me laugh because is this, is this, you know, you're like, that's the least funniest thing you, I've seen. And then you're like, oh, he's actually done stand-up comedy? Wow, he's really bad. Anyway, as, as opposed to, uh, let's see, who was it? The, the couple from Tracy and Kevin who did an impersonation of Tanisha and Clive, which was really funny. Anyway, they all get their, their, their stacks of paper. Um... I have to get their stacks of, of headlines, but before they actually do the kind of the, the second part of the exercise, Clive and Tanisha get into a huge fight. It basically stems around the, thing, the, the idea that Tanisha tells Clive, you need to take care of these things. You need to take care of your hearing, you need to take care of your hearing aid, and then he doesn't do it. I can understand why that would be a frustrating thing, but their fight escalates so high, and they're kind of getting physical. They're not really... Um, hitting each other but they are starting to kind of slap at each other and kind of push and it really bothers me with this show this has happened every single season and I feel like the counselors have never addressed it firmly enough perhaps something's happening off screen that I don't see but I, I really feel and I've talked to other people who feel this way that that needs to be like immediately someone steps in and explains that no matter how angry you are you do not touch or threaten to touch or pretend or motion to hit your partner, male or female, either way, in anger or in frustration. Like, I feel like that needs to be drilled in. And I every single season we've seen this happen. And it's been, I feel, way, way, way underreacted to. That's just my personal thing. But anyway, she's saying, you know, don't hit me, don't do all that. And Ryan shows up. Now, he's a fireman. And I don't know if every single fireman but is trained in this, but it seems to me like it wouldn't be an unreasonable assumption to guess that maybe he's had some training on in dealing with domestic disputes, just because sometimes they do respond to help people that have been hurt, and it seems like sometimes that would include uh, couples that are fighting. So I can see a 
You can see a little fox out my window. How fun is that? I wish I could show you. Anyway, uh, Ryan pops into the room and he handled it, I think, as perfectly as he could. You know, he's like, hey, I don't want to try to interfere. Um, but, you know, I can hear her saying, don't hit me. And I, maybe Clive and I should just go for a walk and cool down. Like, to me, I thought it was super respectful. I think it's reasonable, you know, he, they can all hear the fighting and it's one thing when they're fighting, but when you start using language that indicates that someone might be hitting or threatening to hit someone, I personally felt like I was like, okay, that was cool. I think that was a, the right thing to do. That's just my opinion. I kind of was like a little bit, I, I'm still really upset that the counselors don't come in and be like, you can't, you guys need to never touch in anger. Like that's not right. Um, and I feel like they underplay that. But like I said, maybe there's something that happens off screen that they deal with. Maybe they have someone else come in. I don't know. But it, but it bothers me. Anyway, we kind of set that up against, you know, Gretchen talking about how she's so upset. And she keeps having to address how, like, Tanisha and Clive's fighting is affecting her. Um, and I was like, I would not, I would be staying out of that. Because Tanisha can... And would just wipe the floor with you, Miss Metal Pants. Like, you need to just, you need to stay out of that. I mean, you need to, like, even police officers are very careful around domestic disputes because they will turn on you. So, like, Gretchen getting her nose in there. Like, these are not your Real Housewives of Orange County where they're going to do angry tweets. I think, to, I don't I don't know Tanisha, but I, I'm pretty sure she could throw a punch. That's just going to be my guess. Um, I would back off other people's problems. Whew. Anyway, we catch up to the big thing, the ring of fire, where they basically take the headlines and they assign blame. I've never really gotten this. They do it every season. So then anyway, they go back and forth and they assign blame. We finally seen some actual real moments from Gretchen and Slate where they're not acting. And that had to do with when Gretchen really kind of called him out on the baby thing. Now, uh, later on, Ryan said, told Gretchen, you're, you're, you're wrong, you really got over him, you know, got on him. But I kind of disagree with Ryan on that because I've watched at least one season of The Real Housewives of Orange County of Slade and Gretchen going back and forth on this issue, and I really think he's leading her on. And um, last episode, it really bothered me when he said, um, pardon me, when he said, you know, there's lots of beautiful women out there, and if Gretchen's not the one for me, I, she can be replaced easily. And somehow that bothered me more than anything that anyone else said that whole episode. So, um, but we finally saw kind of some truth, at least from Gretchen. There, and there, Gretchen's much more likable when she's, when she's just honest. She needs to keep her nose out of other people's business and just focus on, on her own issues. Uh, same with Tristan and Ryan. We finally start to see who these interesting people are. Maybe they're trying... My, my impression is that they're trying to maintain a reputation, which makes you really, really kind of protective of what information you get out there. So she feels like they're the one couple from the Bachelor, Bachelorette franchise that have you know been married, and now they've got to kind of live up to the standard that everyone thinks they're perfect. But we start to see some, kind of some of their real-life problems. Once again, I like them more when they're real. That's just that's just who I am. Super sweet. Tanisha's totally freaking out about the flames. And Clive trade. So they had it where whenever you got a problem, your fire got bigger. So Tanisha's is just out of control. And she's like freaking out. It's kind of humorous because you could you could you could see that she was kind of uh, she wasn't completely freaking out, but she was like kind of laughing, freaking out, kind of like, oh my gosh, this is so, I hate this. And at some point, Clive just grabs and switch spots with her. And the look on her face when she looked at him, that he did that, ah, oh, so sweet. She had this look of absolute adoration. She couldn't believe that he stepped up and did that for her. It was really sweet. Uh, let's see, we get into, we, we see all the couples. It's good. We still haven't seen... A lot. Uh, we learn more about Jay Wow and Roger. I feel like we're kind of we're not seeing a ton of them. We're not seeing too little of them. We're seeing just about the right amount. We're slowly getting revealed. We're not seeing a lot of Tracy and Kevin. We're seeing a lot of Gretchen and Tanisha. I think they're going to be setting up for a big, huge blowout. 
Gretchen cannot stay out of her face. In the evening, we have our sort of evaluations, which they make akin to ratings, as though these people somehow couldn't understand it if it wasn't in TV jargon. And they kind of go through and talk to everyone. So Gretchen's got to first say how much she was affected by Tanisha and Clive. And Tanisha's like, I'm sorry that it bothers you, but this is what I have to deal with every day. So suck it up. And I kind of felt like, you know, Tanisha's right. Like, yeah, it's out of control and crazy, but that's where her, that's what, that's what she's experiencing. That's what it's like for her. And this is where she came for help. So she can't be bothered with, am I bothering Gretchen? She's trying to fix her marriage. So I know it has to be difficult to live with that, no doubt. But I can also respect the idea that it, Tanisha's trying to save her marriage. She doesn't really care what Gretchen has to think. The uh, Jim kind of said, you know, sometimes it's good to hear from other people's point of view what they see. And I'm like, don't, don't encourage Gretchen to stick her nose in. Like, don't. Please, 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 please. But they did call Slade out on being fake. So I was like, hallelujah. Thank you. So at least we have that. Uh, and everyone else, I feel, was was pretty standard feedback. So I'm actually I'm actually really enjoying the season. I I I think I think I enjoy this more than I have the previous seasons. But well, we'll see how I feel. I feel like they, I really need the editors though to do two things for me. First, I need them to cut back a little bit on Gretchen and Slade. Let's let's hear from some other people. And they really need to get on these couples about only tweeting about the current episode. Because when they start tweeting about how this experience saved their marriage, I kind of feel like it's a little bit of spoilers. So at least don't use the marriage boot camp tag to talk about things that haven't happened yet. Just stick with this one episode. Okay, let's do that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon.